All right, hi everybody. It's Bonkai922. Going to be an episode of you here. You shut. Could have become a hero, so I reluctantly got a job. Um, this one was um, kind of. I know. I know a lot of people don't like this anime. It's um, not really good at some instances. And, uh, I mean, the whole reason I decided to review this was because I didn't review Mao Sama last season, a couple of seasons ago. So I figured, why not review this? Um, this is a good show. The reason why I really like this, sh the reason why I'm reviewing this show, to a certain extent, because I like how they deal with the fact you have in these people, you have, you have the concept of, <clears throat> Excuse me. Hero. Well, not hero. Dreams. And you want to be a hero, but they can't anymore. And it's like their dreams are being dashed away with responsibilities of finding a job. And so on and so forth. That is the whole that whole concept. I really enjoy in this show. Now this episode was it was funny at times. It was more the more um, kind of um, grabbings, like, you know, I don't want to say technical rape, but it, it was around that that part. Now, pretty much the beginning, we got, you know, Fino's waking up and <laughs> she's next door to him. Oh, God. It's like uh, never ending. And he finally goes into her apartment and helps her get ready. And they go on off. To work, it's like one of those, you know, you know, he bumps into where she's changing scenes, um, and they go to work. Now, what was interesting about this episode was we notice the more closely interactions between him and Fino now, and they're very close now more buddy-buddy kind of thing with their work relationship. And in this episode, that kind of comes forward. It comes forward. And majority what happens is their boss goes to the corporate. And we see them going to the corporate the, you know, of their com the company head. And they get a new product from the corporate. And we get introduced to another character in this show, um, Lore. That's her name, Lore. She's one of those silent type characters. She handles deliveries and such. And while they're in the corporate, the boss and everything, and the assistant man, the assistant, the manager and assistant manager going to meet the corporate. Uh, a customer comes in with a fan and wants it to be, it's broken and they wanted to fix it. Because she doesn't want to have to get a new one. So Laura comes in. and Because he's trying to fix it. Um, Raul. But he can't. And his Laura just walks in. And says don't, don't do that. And move aside. And she goes ahead and fixes it. And that's pretty much what happens there. But the real story. <laughs> is, <coughs> is this product. Which is this air purifier that they get from the corporation. And they basically, this was talked to when, when their boss, I think her name's Elsa. that's the name of their manager, the boss at the store, goes there and they're telling them, the head honcho at the corporation is telling them, we're going to expand your items that you carry. And one of the items is this air purifier. I believe it's an air conditioner. And Everyone's there. It's Fino. It's Rao. Um, it's um, I forgot this girl's name. What was that girl's name? Um, her name eludes me at the moment. Uh forgot her name. Anyway, she's there as well. As she wanted to see the new product and everything, and they turn it on. It doesn't do anything. Then. Vino turns it on. Oh, by the way, we, we see um, 
What's your face in this episode? Um, Irie. He was former partner. And it turned out, and all of a sudden, out of the air conditioner comes these, these hands. And I'm like, oh my god. So they're trying to stop it. And it's grabbing Irie. It's grabbing um, the other two. You know. And it's just so confu crazy shit going down. And he ends up having to fight it. The arms are coming out. And Laura's there too. But she can't do anything because she's been grabbed as well. And basically what happens is through teamwork of Raul, Fino, and Irie, they're able to stop the air conditioner. <laughs> Laura tells them, oh, you have to shut, shut it off. <laughs> I was so weird. I was just like, damn. I know a lot of people don't like this, anime, but hey, I like it. So yeah, but yeah, and so what's on happening is he gets the sword. He left his sword in the storage room, in the store, in the store, in the locker. He gets it and does this one move that is used to kill demons, and he uses it on the air conditioner like two or three times, twice actually. Is able to to stop it. Fino presses this this the off button, and then. And this was a, a crazy scene because it was groping everybody. I was like, oh my god. Ugh. But anyway, so that's what ends up happening. For this episode, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. But what I liked about this episode was this, this kind of animosity shown through. That there is between humans and demons. Because Irie... <clears throat> was saying to him earlier on in, in the episode about demons, you know, should be killed. They're, they're the ones that enslaved us, that, that, that killed us and everything, and so on and so forth. But after that scene with the air conditioner, it is all settled and done. He, he realized, Rao, that he still has the techniques of a hero, and they haven't been deteriorated. And it was kind of funny at the end when when Fino kind of let out of the bag that she was a demon. And, and Re Re um, Irie's face was so funny. Like, like she made one of those anime faces that's like, okay. But, yeah. And after that, we after the credits, we have this scene with Fino and Raul as they're coming out of the bath the bathhouse. And... You know, she's asking him, is it bad that I'm a demon? Should I keep a secret? Should I not? She, she basically saying that, should I keep it a secret that I'm a demon? And all these other questions she was asking about that. So you could see that, that obviously she feels that she's evil. Because she, she feels that she's bad because she's a demon and everything. And it was very interesting to have that in this episode as well. But, you know, four out of five, I mean, hey, I had a feeling people were going to have a negative outlook in this show, but it's not as good as Mao Sama, but I still like it. I still like it because I like the concept that you have this guy who wants to be a hero and he can't, and he has to get a job. That's like, that's like somebody who says, oh, I want to go into this profession, but I can't because I just can't get into it. Even uh, Irish, she was saying about the recession. I was like, wow, recession? The depre recession, depression, and stuff? I was like, wow. Like, real life, real world stuff talking in, in, this, in this anime, so... I thought that was very interesting in this episode as well. So that's why I'm giving this a 4 out of 5. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it, people. Yusha. Um, I couldn't be a hero, so I reluctantly got a job. Episode 3. Um, yeah, 4 out of 5. Um, hopefully I can do one more episode review, which is freezing. 
If not, I'm probably just going to upload this, and freezing I will upload later today. I'll do it, but I'll just upload it later today. So yeah, that's the story, people. Bonkai 922. I will see you guys later. Hey, man. I like this show. I don't care what anyone says. I like this show. I like the fact that it almost feels like it's it hits hot home. You know what I mean? That it's like the same kind of concept. I like that. Job, hero, he can't be a hero, can't get can't be be what he wants to be, what he dreams to be, and has to get a job. Like in today's world, you know? So yeah. I'm Bonkai922. I will catch you guys later. Peace.